Today I'm going to do a teardown of this uh, 3350 mAh USB power bank. It's made by On. Very strange name, but this is a Walmart brand. Uh, it's, I think it's, uh, it's, it's a Walmart brand. It's sold at Walmart. Very cheap. $4.88. It's very cheap and it has 3350 mAh. And what makes me curious is that this number is coincidentally the same capacity as this LG uh, 3350 mAh or the Panasonic 3350 mAh so is it the same cell or is it just a generic and after the teardown I'm also gonna do a test the capacity test with my charger here to see if it, the cell is actually 3350 mAh as claimed on the packaging here now let's pry this off and see what's inside there are no screws so I guess we just have to do the old-fashioned way kind of tough here. slowly coming out using a big boy here now it's coming out something is coming out okay nothing is broken yet it's good news bad news is it's not an LG cell that's an LG cell right here Silicone. It's generic. It's just a generic cell. Yes, take a look at the label here. I'm sure you close up the model number here. I just did a Google search and it didn't come up with anything at all. My next step is I'm gonna I'll remove this the light turns off remove this and we'll test the capacity on my charger to see if it's actually 3350 milliamp hour as claimed on the sale and on the packaging here now let's put it on the charger 3.79 volts so I'm gonna charge it first I also have another 3350 milliamp hour from another USB power bank not this one here but you know the same Chinese make USB power bank actually this look pretty much similar to that except the plastic wrapping but anyway I'm gonna test this one also so let's charge it first Okay, actually this one is full that's good so I'm just gonna wait for this to be full and then I'm gonna discharge them well since this one here is full now I can discharge and test the capacity of the cell let's discharge current for my last test it's best run at 700 milliamp and that's what I'm gonna use to discharge the cell okay That's it. This one is charging, and when it's full, I'm gonna do the same thing and discharge it and test the capacity. Right, so it's been a few hours and it is done. Now let's check this out. We got 3182 milliamp hour, 3163 milliamp hour. So they are pretty much almost identical. That's amazing and they ran for 4 hour 36 minutes this one is 4 hour 32 minutes so very very close almost identical so no more discharge it is 
already done curtain voltage 3.5 volt 3.49 volt you can see they are very much identical let's take a closer look at the model number so we got DBK INR 20650 A3350 on the top cell, bottom cell is the same. Even though the writings are a little bit different, but the part number are identical. So I'm not sure these are made by the same factory or not. Um, the wrapping have different color too. So before the test, my expectations for these were really low. I didn't expect much, but we got very close to the rated capacity of these cells. Considering these are no brand name, they are probably made in somebody's garage in China. It's pretty impressive. So in my previous test with these LG 3350 mAh cells, I also got close to this value. Uh, a little bit better than this, about 3,200 something, almost 3,300. So the LG cells are just a little bit better than these. But the thing is the LG cells are a little bit more expensive than these generic cells. But I haven't used these generic cells for long enough so I can't tell you how durable they are. The LG cells are fine though, even though I do have a fair share of these fail on me also. So all in all this is a successful test for these cells and you can find these cells in the generic or no brand name uh, USB power banks like this one here. This one is uh, I think it's a Walmart brand. I got it from Walmart. You can also find these in aftermarket laptop batteries. The durability of these cells remain to be seen but they do offer a good value for the money. And that's all for now and I'll see you next time.